Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Sunday, August 25th, and uh, today in the garage uh, we've got a brake job to do. So today's project is a 2004 Honda Pilot four-wheel drive V6. We've worked on this car before. It had a misfire problem that turned out to be a loose spark plug from uh, I guess whoever worked on it last. So anyhow, let me uh, let me get the uh, the wheels off this thing and uh, we'll get going. Front and rear brakes. All right. Well, anyway, uh, today's uh, made in China parts. I really hate to say that, but that seems to be all we can get these days. Um, are uh, actually from my local auto parts store. I've kind of given up on Rock Auto. Um, too bad. Uh, but Mike's got a good store down in Oakland, Auto Parts Source, and uh, he gave me some good prices on the pads and rotors uh, for all four corners. Um, the rotors are real values, and uh, the pads are actually Wagner Thermal Quiet, so they might be, uh, you know, U.S. Or, or Canadian made. So. Um, truck's got about 110,000 miles on it and we're not sure how much longer Amy's going to keep this so we're, uh, we're going to put these on and because uh, she needs brakes. So, anyhow, I'm going to get started on the uh, on the right rear so let me put you down and we'll get going. Alright, let's start with the right rear. It'd be easier for you to see if I put the camera. Hold on. Well, at least we've got some nice weather over here now. In New Jersey, it's uh, maybe in the 80s. Not too hot. We did the grass this morning. It's like Groundhog Day over here every Sunday. Cutting the lawn. Weed whacking. brakes on this truck once before I did them on the front only. The front was all I needed at the time. She's had it for geez, know, five, six years now. So I gotta get this caliper bracket off and I gotta get these rotor screws out. So I'll put you back on in a sec. Our caliper brackets held on with a 14 mil. The, uh, the two bolts that hold the caliper to the caliper bracket are actually 12 mil. The only specialty needed here, except for the fact that my socket isn't going to fit because it's a semi deep. Let me get a shallow socket. Sorry about that.
Alpha brackets off. It's a little rusty. I'm gonna just give this a quick clean up in the uh, in the blast cabinet in a minute after we get this rotor off. So we've got two screws on the rotor, one here, one here. Impact tool. holes over here. They look like they're tapped to uh, six millimeter. Or excuse me, eight millimeter. Five still this is like five sixteenths. Uh, if you put a bolt in here you can actually press the rotor off. So let me get a couple bolts and we'll do that. Okay so they're metric it's uh, eight by one point two five thread. Thirteen millimeter head. So you just stick them in there. Fuss. Dust cap here. So you inspect the parking brake hardware and the shoes. Looks nicey nice. So let's uh, take our new rotor. And you gotta be conscious of these holes here because they have to go to these holes. Sounds like he's in a hurry. County cop. They always haul ass down this road. Anyhow, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go clean up my caliper bracket, and I'll put you back on in a sec. All right, so we're back. So what I've done is I've uh, taken the blast cabinet and just cleaned up these areas right here so the pads slide freely. I don't know if a lot of people do that. I do because if you have a pad that sticks then they won't wear evenly and you're going to come quickly put everything back together here. I've cleaned these rotors off already. It's a great clean. So everything's ready to go. They have a nice uh, cross hatch on them so they should bed into the pads fairly well. This uh, Wagner Lockheed um, silicone disc brake lubricant. So just take a little bit of it and smear it on the back of the pad and on these contact surfaces of the uh, backing plate. Oops. 
tube I had I have here is kind of old, it's split at the top. It's kind of funny. I never have to take the, uh, the lid off, the cap off to get any in. Now, as far as taking the rotor off with those uh, screws, please use screws that you have separate. Um, some people think that the 8mm screw um, that hold the calipers on to the caliper bracket is okay, but it's actually a different thread, and you'll wind up wrecking them and wind up having to go find some caliper bolts. Which, uh, you may or may not be able to find. So quite delighted to see that uh, Kevin Robinson got his, uh, his truck running finally. Thing sounds sounds like it's going to be pretty mean. to hold these things from spinning right back. important before moving to the next brake go into the car and set the pedal because if you compress off for uh, caliper pistons and then go to move this thing out of the garage without setting the brake first you may have an accident so, anyhow let me throw this wheel back on and uh, I'll get you uh, over to one of the fronts so we're going to torque these uh, this is a torque stick. This uh, goes 80 foot-pounds. So no matter how much you put into it, it only put out 80 at the nut. similar procedure as the rear. Got the wheel off already. Um, I'm going to have to give her some bad news that she needs tires in the alignment because these things have some massive inside edge wear. So I'll just compress the caliper this way. years, don't you think I'd know lefty loosey righty tighty by now?
Okay, the only difference, the only difference between the front and the on this car is the uh, caliper mounting. These bolts are uh, 17, 7 by 14 like in the back. doesn't have any press out screws. Let's see how hard it is to get off. pretty heat checked on the back they were giving a pretty good judder in the pedal so I love lost getting rid of these I'm sure if I tried I could probably find something more constructive to do on Sunday to work on cars but Now the replacement rotors have the press screws in them. Maybe the uh, what the hell's these things again? Real value. Maybe the real value rotors I used the last time have been upgraded. I didn't even use real values last time. Anyhow, hey, let me clean the bracket up and uh, I'll get you guys back on. Alright, so we got our caliper bracket cleaned up and we got our pads in place and the calipers mounted again, bolts tightened and looped. And uh, we're going to stick our wheel on. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but this tire is pretty bad. So we'll tell Amy that she needs uh, two tires and an alignment. side and then uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit all right so it's uh, it's a bit after 3:30 now and uh, we're done 
So we've got uh, all four brakes done on this thing. I've checked the tire pressure. The tire pressure is good. Um, I went around with my torque wrench and just made sure that the torque stick was working properly, and it did. Um, she needs two tires and an alignment. So, anyhow, that's a uh, 2004 Honda Pilot brake job in a couple hours. So, anyhow, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you guys soon. Take care.